covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced the wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love, gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Beckett and Christina come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. And so I ask both of you now, in the presence of God and of these people, to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ, who called you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Christina, will you have Beckett to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Beckett, will you have Christina to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? Keep her. I'll get my phone up here, right? <laughs> We love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. And especially for Cassie and Cameron, I ask both of you that the marriage of Beckett and Christina unites their families and creates a new one. They ask for your blessing today. As part of this family, they seek your blessing for their marriage and life together. Do you offer your blessing, love and devotion to each of them as they bring their two lives together? And will all of you in this congregation, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? Yes. Yes. Will you please pray with me? Yes. 